Hello everyone, this is Eric, the Asian movie enthusiast, and this is my review of Dangerous Liaison, a Chinese romance from 2012 that has international connections. It's based on the popular French novel from 1782 that was already adapted numerous times, including, but not limited to, the American film Cruel Intentions from 1999 and the Korean film Untold Scandal from 2003. Even more interesting is that this Chinese adaptation was directed by a Korean, He Jin Ho, big time director. And it includes a cast of both Chinese and Korean actors, including Zhang Ji, uh, Zhang Dong and Cecilia Chung. So, this one, this adaptation is set in Shanghai in the year 1931. Wealthy businessman and playboy seducer Yi Fan, played by Zhang Dong is introduced to his uncle's granddaughter, Fen Yu, played by Zhang Ji. Now, Fen Yu is a young widow who has just arrived uh, in town, uh, and she comes from northeast China where the Japanese are making incursions, and she's staying at a country home of her granddad. Meanwhile, at a glitzy fundraiser for refugees, Ji Yu, played by Cecilia Chung, an old friend of Yi Fan who has never succumbed to his sexual advances, asks him to rob Bei Bei, played by Candy Wang, of her virginity, and she's the 16-year-old fiancé of a tycoon. Now, the reason for this is that Cecilia Chung's character wants revenge on this tycoon for publicly dumping her for this girl. So a wager eventually results from this situation. Yi Fan is tasked with seduction, and if he succeeds, Ji Yu will eventually agree to sleep with him. Finally agree. So the acting in this is very good by the leads. Now I would say that I might be in the minority in this. I like Cecilia Chung more than Zhang Ji. I think she's just a better actress overall. Now in the case of Dangerous Liaison, she's also given an interesting character to work with. Very manipulative person and kind of a snake. Now, one example of this is when she provokes this young art teacher kid who is in love with the teenage girl, Bebe. They're kind of having a, they're not having an affair, but they're thinking about it, which sets some conflicts into motion. You know, Cecilia Chung's character is, she's mean-spirited, but subtle in her psychological tactics and how she manipulates people. And she is the character who drives much of the plot progression to the point where I would consider her the co-lead. Uh, with Jang dong Gun. I would. Uh, I love puppet master characters in movies and TV shows, and she plays one quite well here. Now, in terms of Jang, the film begins quite amusingly with him getting caught cheating on two women, and they play it off for, as like a subtle humor. This dude is like a suave womanizer with an ice-cold heart. He's even got a stylish mustache. His performance is fun, and I noticed that he actually spoke Mandarin, which is quite impressive for a Korean actor. I, I looked him up and I don't know if he's had a history, uh, you know, uh, learning Mandarin from anybody, but if this was his first, like, attempt at it, it seemed like he did a pretty good job. Now, Zhang Ji plays the most innocent character, or one of the more innocent characters of the bunch, which also makes her the least interesting, or one of the least interesting. She's very uptight and comfortable throughout the film, uh, kind of, uh, I guess, enduring <laughs> Jang's uh, attempts of sleeping with her. But uh, she's not, like, especially endearing either. Uh, Candy Wang is also pretty basic. And that kind of brings me to one of the weird observations I had about this movie uh, is that all of the nice characters and, like, the good characters are kind of bland, <laughs> where all of the evil characters are charismatic and stimulating. Uh, so if you're one of those moviegoers who really dislikes following the bad people for most of the runtime, you may not like this film. Um, I enjoyed it personally, even though, you know, in all honesty, there's not a whole lot of character depth in this. Uh, I've actually never read the original novel. I probably should because it's been adapted so many times. But, uh, you know, this film is pretty straightforward stuff. And I would say that Cecilia Chung's character probably has the most depth out of everyone else in the film. Which, uh, you know, makes her the most interesting. But yeah, that's, that's a thing here. Pacing can be a little bit on the slow side. It does bounce between a handful of characters. I mean, the number of characters I mentioned in the plot synopsis alone, you got uh, like half a dozen. Um, 
and they all interact with each other throughout the film. So you might think going into the film that, oh, this whole thing's going to be the male lead seducing women, but it's only a focus some of the time because Cecilia Chung's character is in the forefront for a significant portion of runtime, and, you know, that is a positive thing because it creates more dynamic interaction. There is, in fact, a few ironic moments that occur later on where character motivations are inferred, and that's specifically in relation to her. So, yeah, she really does anchor the whole, fo- the whole film. Now, in terms of sexual content, there are no graphic hookups in, in the film. There aren't. There are a few passionate makeout sessions, and you know, it gets a little steamy, but I would say, in terms of erotic content, this is actually pretty low uh, in terms of the stuff that's really, like, intense. Production values are nice. Some extravagant mansions and and interior designs. Like, the opening scene alone has, like, a lot of gold, copper, and wood within, like, the rooms. Uh, It looks like some pretty beautiful craftsmanship. The copper does make multiple appearances in this, which pleased me, because I think copper is, like, a really neat color. But that's just a side observation. They use some classic cars as well, which is always cool. So, I mean, I recommend Dangerous Liaison. Uh, it's available streaming on YouTube, Tubi, and Amazon. Now, I would say my personal favorite adaptation of this novel from what I've seen is still Untold Scandal from 2003, which I mentioned earlier. And I have a review of that film on this channel. So check that one out as well. But I think I think Dangerous Liaison is, is good. And if you've seen it, let me know what you think. And as always, folks, I'll see you next time.